Hi guys, so the Vice President of the European Commission, Mara Shashtovich, spoke to Bloomberg News about Brexit. The host asked the question, if the UK-EU trade deal were to be suspended, would that mean a hard border on the island of Ireland? Now, this is a strange question because the trade deal is what came after the withdrawal agreement. The border issue is related to that agreement, not the TCA. Either way, the Vice President said that a border on the island of Ireland would be out of the question. Let's hear what he had to say. Regarding the UK-EU trade deal, if that were to disappear, I'm assuming that there would have to be a hard border on the island of Ireland. So is it possible for you to be able to, to go that far without creating that scenario? I would uh, not even consider uh, these possibilities because uh, uh, this is definitely not in the cards. We are uh, very clear with that, uh, with our uh, Irish friends. I think that was a huge point uh, uh, of preoccupation um, in the United States. Uh, I mean, I had a lot of meetings with the senators and, and the congressmen in the White House, and uh, uh, we, under no circumstances, should uh, uh, put the gains of the peace process under question marks. I mean, uh, this should be the price of the, of, the, of the Brexit, or should the Irish uh, bring additional, uh, you know, uh, uh, pay additional price uh, for the Brexit? Why should the Irish suffer the consequences of Brexit? The Irish government and Irish commentators in the run-up to the referendum vote said this will create problems and the response from Brexiteers was stop engaging in project fear. Stop trying to stop Brexit after it happened as well. So this idea that, you know, the Irish government need to move in some way or the Irish government need to put pressure on the European Commission in order for them to, to move, um, to what is it, to inject flexibility into the protocol or to suspend the protocol or renegotiate the protocol. The Irish government was warning about the consequences of Brexit and it was ignored. Now it seems that Brexiteers want the Irish government and the Irish people to suffer the consequences of Brexit. The protocol is not perfect, but the protocol protects Northern Ireland from the worst of Brexit. And of course, Brexiteers don't want to acknowledge that because, well, it paints Brexit in a very bad light. Why we cannot solve it? As we all agreed and negotiated painfully over, over the more than, than four years with really smooth operation, light touch checks uh, with all the flexibilities yep. I'm proposing because I'm sure that it would be the, the best uh, solution for everyone. And after a few months, we will be in the same situation as we are now with the supply of medicine Nobody mentions it anymore because yep. it works. <laughs> there we have it. Remember medicines. Remember how there was this hullabaloo about how Northern Ireland is being separated from the rest of the UK over medicines. The, uh, the stakeholders in Northern Ireland raised this as an issue with Shestovich and he resolved it. He said, okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do within the protocol to help... Uh, organizations, um, the NHS, whatever, in Northern Ireland to get access to medicines from the UK. And it was fixed. Th this was one of these arguments that the DUP were banging on about for months, and now it's disappeared. Why? Because it has been resolved within the framework of the protocol. I said before, most of the issues can probably be resolved within the protocol. The, the, the problems with the Northern Ireland Protocol are not technical, they're political. Because the EU says, okay, let's have a look at the problem, let's find a solution. While the politicians look for the problems and don't want to find solutions because they need to use it as a cudgel. They need to, in Northern Ireland, the, the Brexiteers like the DUP just want to put a hard border on the island of Ireland and to hell with the consequences. While the Brexiteers in Great Britain, they need to make Northern Ireland look bad because Brexit is making it is looking very bad in the rest of the UK. So if Northern Ireland looks bad, then it sort of levels up uh, the, the rest of the, the UK in a sense, or levels down, whichever way you want to put it. Ne you need to protect Brexit, need to save Brexit's face in a sense, and Northern Ireland is not helping. 
because Northern Ireland is outperforming the rest of the, Un of the United Kingdom, with the exception of London. The EU believed, maybe in a naive way, they believed that the UK government was interested in protecting peace in Northern Ireland, on the island of Ireland, uh, protecting the Good Friday Agreement, and, you know, implementing this protocol that they negotiated with the EU and signed on the dotted line. Now we're seeing it all unravel. Now whether, whether there will be a hard border on the island of Ireland, I don't see that happening. Um, it's, a, it's possible that you know, Boris Johnson will continue rattling on about this for a while, but then eventually he will be removed and probably somebody a bit more pragmatic will be put in place. Somebody who will realise that, yeah, it's, it's in our interest just to implement this damn thing. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.